Anthony and Tim join us live uh, from their little pad in Good Melbourne. Morning. Hey, guys. Um, oh, look, I tell you, if it wasn't mm. for your videos, I think a lot of people would be going out of their minds. How are you coping? I mean, you, Anthony, you've even put a, a fake tan on for us this morning, which is brilliant thank you. for us. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, we, we are a human top deck chocolate right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely not going to lie. It's a lot harder this time around. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. It's 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 weird. I'm. We've got a lot more deliveries coming to the house this time around because we have that board. I just keep ordering things. Um, yesterday we had three deliveries come to the house. Um, so the credit card bill is going to be... Um, the treadmill is getting a really great worker. Yeah, that was a really a worthy buying. <laughs> <laughs> what, no ab swing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the good room. <laughs> I'm, I'm also sensing perhaps that lockdown two requires twice the quantities of champagne as lockdown one. Um, would that be a fair assessment? I'm just trying to do the maths. Well, most of the deliveries, to be honest, are boxes that rattle a lot with glass yeah. when they come along. So um, it has happened. Though we've been pretty experimental uh, as far as uh, what we've been making. Like, you know, the shakers had a good workout with... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, if you need some mixologists after lockdown, we're qualified. There. Yeah. Oh, oh, you are so coming to my house. Have you, have, you been, <laughs> have you been doing any work, uh, Anthony? Any, you know, singing? Absolutely <laughs> not. I, can't be <laughs> <laughs> I literally cannot be bothered. Like the first lockdown, I was like, I'm going to be creative and all that crap. And now this time around, I'm just like, can't be bothered. Mm. Um, however, I am working towards something. We're actually in talks at the moment doing a bit of a musical collab with someone, um, which Ooh. I'm a little bit excited about. And I'm also in the process of putting a tour together for 2021. So hopefully we can announce that really soon and I'm allowed to actually do it. <laughs> mm. Well, it's, it's, it'll be a great collaboration. Obviously it's secret, but I hope Paddy Newton's available. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. Now, uh, have you been busy cooking? You don't, you look as if you're all, you know, svelte and gorgeous. Yeah. Who's the better cook between you? What do you do? Uh, I think either is cook really cook. You, he's really good at plating up. I mean, if you, if you want an Italian spread and antipasto or a charcuterie board, then you do that well. This video that was put out with the amount of friends that came back and said, "Who are you?" <laughs> they've never seen they've never seen us yeah. with a pot and actually used that kitchen before. It's the cleanest kitchen in Australia. Uh -huh. no, we actually um, we're very lucky. Well, we ha we're not lucky at the moment, but um, we have a cleaner which can't come in our house at the moment. But we got really weird. It was weird one day because she's like. <laughs> She started making us food, and she's a chef herself. Um, and I'm like, why is our cleaner making us food? And she got really worried because then I realised that she cleans our bins and all there is is, like, boxed chicken and boxed fish. Oh. <laughs> so, so she, she goes to our house with some actual cooked food. <laughs> hey, you know, a lot of, a lot of people have, uh, have been struggling through lockdown and, uh, and the pandemic has seen a spike in the divorce rate. You two look mm. even more in love than ever. Oh, God, no. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's really lovely to spend that much time with your partner. It's, uh, the love is... Oh, God. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so what, so what I if then... I'm going to have to put the ring on today, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a showman's. It's a showman's, baby. Um, what, about, what do you think about Brett Sutton, the um, Victorian Chief, Chief Health Minister? Is he a bit of a dish in your eyes? <laughs> Um, nah. Wow! <laughs> oh, what? There's, like, fan pages dedicated to him. I find really weird, though. If the roles were reversed and that was a female in that, um, in that spot, there wouldn't, you wouldn't be having that conversation. Oh, true, yeah, true. true. I think Anthony's just upset because Brett Stut Sutton stole his top deck hairstyle. Yeah. <laughs> he can have it. <laughs> well, I think we've sorted that out then. Um, that now, listen, bad. you two are going to stick around and chat to some of your fans in our We Love Victoria Week Zoom in chat special, um, which is so exciting. Don't go anywhere. We're coming back right after this very short time. It's because of you. 
Victoria, we love you. We know you've been doing it tough over the past few months and we thought all week we'd connect you to your favourite celebrity guests and today's guests are power couple Anthony Kalea and Tim Campbell. And we've rounded up their biggest fans to zoom in to chat. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. We'll start with uh, Shalia. I think I pronounced your name correctly. What would you like to yeah, ask the fellas? Um... The isolation skits that you guys do on Instagram, where do you guys get your inspiration from? Uh, pretty much, the, I guess, the shows that we like. I mean, we kind of... Or, or, or if, when it comes to some of the national things like that, which we've never watched because there's such nutbags on that show, it's kind of easy inspiration. But um, then, then, we, then we research it and we may or may not have a copyright to download the audio. We're not sure, but we just do it anyhow. We just do it anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Samara, you have a question as well for the boys? Yeah, thank you. Um, so thank you for bringing us lots of laughter and joy throughout the lockdown period. Um, oh, you're welcome. Thanks for calling in today. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, you clearly know how to make the most of a challenging situation. So I wanted to ask whether there was something that you two have learnt throughout the lockdown period that you'll take with you once restrictions ease or alternatively, if there's something that you hope Victorians uh, will take from this very challenging experience? Well, the one thing that I've learnt is patience. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've never had patience in my whole life. <laughs> um, so, yes, I'm going to be a little bit more patient, I think. Um, and... It's only one of those times where I think perspective, it changes perspective on a lot yeah. of things. And, um, and, you know, that people have those, those times in their life, but this is one for everybody and, and really what's important with your life. And, and also, yeah, being able to take a challenge and move, try and move ahead because often challenges hold us back and it's not our norm and we're not comfortable. And, but this is one where we really have to, everybody had to really, really adjust uh, to be able to move to a new post-COVID life, as they say in hashtags. And also, I guess what Victorians can learn is how to wear these properly. Yes. The 10% of you that don't, put it over your nose and mouth, for God's sake, we want to get out of this thing. Yeah. Awesome, uh, thank you. Brendan is also a long-time listener, first-time caller, and he has a question. <laughs> sort of comes into regards with mental health. How have you both coped with being around each other day after day during two sessions of lockdown? Thank you, Brendan. Obviously, you know how difficult it is being with this one. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um... Go for it. <laughs> no, it's it, it, like, like I was saying before, it is a, it's a challenge, Brendan. It's really, um, I mean, we're, look, we're fortunate that we are a couple and we've had been able to spend time with each other. I know a lot of people who are single who have been in a place on their own and sure, if they've got partners, they can visit them with restrictions. If they don't, it's really meeting people or having a drink or whatever you do, you know, to, to chat. And, and that's, I feel for those people in particular, I, I know... If I was on my own, it'd be a lot more difficult period for sure. So I'm lucky in that respect. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to remind you of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Mental health is a huge thing. I think it's something we need to keep talking to. And if, it, if and the bare minimum it means that we reach out to people yes. a lot more, whether it's through things like this, whether right. it's through our friends, whether it's friends from ages ago that we haven't spoken to, it's a really, really important time to do that. I'm sure. The one yeah, thing, where... the one thing that I love about this whole, not the one thing that I love about it all, but um, you know, the, a good thing that's come out of it is that a lot more people are reaching out and I want to say a big thank you to like you know mm. all our all of our interstate friends that are actually you know checking in on us as well which I think is really lovely like the rest of the country is thinking of Victoria so I know that Victoria definitely does appreciate that yeah for sure and lastly Carly has a question she'd like to ask Hey guys, um, I hey also am a massive fan of your skits uh, that you do, especially the Real Housewives ones. If yes. you could pick any place in Australia to cast the Real Housewives, where would it be? Oh, Gold Coast. <laughs> <laughs> that place writes its own script. It'll, oh, <laughs> it'll, it'll be so bedazzled. There'll be big frizzy hair. There'll be oh, beach yeah. babes. There'll be... Fake tan, I love it. I would fit right in. I would want to be part of it. <laughs> Correct. The Real Amazing. House Husbands of the Gold Coast. I can see it happening. Yeah. Uh, you just need a couple of <laughs> pair of, pairs of white pants and you're ready to rock and roll. Uh, Tim and Anthony, we've loved having you. We love watching you on socials. Thank you so much for uh, bringing us and um, our Vic viewers a, a bit of joy this morning. We do appreciate your time. And um, to our Studio 10 fans, stay safe, hey?
Thanks for having us. Yeah. And yeah, Thank stay safe, guys. everyone. And you are totes hilarious. Yeah, take care. <laughs>